Well, hello again. Don Conroy here. You're very welcome to another Draw with Don. And today is a very special day because we're celebrating St. Patrick's Day. And of course, for, for the Irish people, St. Patrick was a great man who brought the Christian faith to Ireland. And the marvelous thing is that people all over the world have been celebrating St. Patrick's Day, even if they're not Irish, but they've come Irish for the day, which is always good fun. Um, so apart from the great St. Patrick, people used to like to dress up for parades and one of the great characters they like to dress up as are leprechauns. Now leprechauns are members of the, the little folk, as they say, the good folk in Ireland. So be very respectful for them and I always sort of refer to them as the good folk. So here's our little fun picture. And we have one sitting on here, bobbing along there. And here's, here's another one here, and he's holding up the shamrock. And here's a lovely little sprite here too. And she's playing the concertina. So are we ready to have a go? Excellent. So I'm going to start off by drawing the hair. And we just start off literally drawing the ears like this, up like that. They go into a little point, up like that, back around like that. And then a little curve here, and then bring it right around into a bit of a smile like that. A happy hair. <laughs> and of course, there's the eyes. We use kind of, we use uh, egg shapes for the eyes or whatever you, you fancy. Now, before we continue the hair, I'm going to draw the leprechaun. And uh, we're going to start off this time with a big round nose. So as I said, the leprechauns are members of the fairy folk. And they're the ones that make shoes they're for the fairies. They're known as the cobblers for the fairies. And... Uh, they also they are guardians of the treasure of the other worlds. So people used to believe a long time ago, maybe it's still true, that between our world and the other worlds, there was a kind of a, a thin veil and it just got even thinner at times. So the fairies and leprechauns and other creatures could pop into our world and that's how we'd see them. Uh, so, and the great thing about, about Ireland, Ireland has a very rich history of not only actual history, but a wonderful history of folklore, mythology, this great. So I do try and investigate it because it's, it's so marvellous. And the great thing about drawing these things, it's not that we, we necessarily believe them, maybe they are true, but it's about using your imagination and that's very important. And it can trigger off all kinds of things. Uh, there was a great poet called William Allingham. And he wrote a lovely poem about the fairies. And I remember my late mother-in-law. And she used to love this poem. It was called The Fairies. And it started up the airy mountains, down the rushy glen. We daren't go hunting for fear of little men. We folk, good folk, trooping all together, green cap and red jacket and white owl feather. So that's for Sorcha if she's listening. <laughs> now uh, I'm going to draw the beard and it's kind of been blown in the wind like that. And then the little pointy ears like that. And it's like as if it's on a horse. Of course it's on it. A hair. <laughs> so I'll just draw this very quickly. And there's the back of the hair, here's the tail, and the legs, and the like that. And you can see it's bounding along there like that. 
And once we got that, we'll go straight on and draw this leprechaun here. And uh, as I said, they're normally uh, in charge of the gold and the treasures of the other world. And this is where the idea of the crock of gold comes from, like a big cauldron full of uh, golden coins or maybe other kinds of jewels. I haven't actually seen it myself, but I hear that's what it is. So a lot of ancient stories about me, musicians and dancers uh, who were wonderful dancers and performers claiming that they heard the songs from the fairies and that's how they had these wonderful little songs. Now, you can see the eyes here, they're more like a kind of a triangle and they're looking a little bit kind of a little bit sleepy looking. And no moustache, just just a beard like that. And then we go up here and we put the, the hat. Sitting on the head, it has a buckle like this. And then I just indicate uh, and maybe an L sweater. And it's a, it's a tall hat like that. So it's marvelous when you when you're Irish and you go to different parts of the world, uh, especially on St Patrick's Day, and you see people having a great old time, a little bit of fun, celebrating music and song, uh, St Patrick's Day. So. Now we'll put in the shamrock, and the shamrock, of course, is associated with St. Patrick. Uh, it was probably uh, what's called uh, bird foot trefoil, and uh, St. Patrick picked that up to explain the mystery of the Trinity in Christianity, and he used the three different petals to explain the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So uh, this is why the, the shamrock, uh, as we call it today, is uh, very popular in our tradition. Now over here, we're going to draw this lovely little sprite. And again, I'm making the eyes more almost uh, the, the almond shape. There's the pupil. So you can try out different shapes in that and see which ones you prefer. And here's the nose. Now it's a, in a sense, it's a little bit complicated to draw, but always have a go. Don't worry about making mistakes. I'm not going to phone the president if you make a mistake. Uh, now, I give her a nice, like a pair of lips there, and I'm going to give her little <laughs> shamrock earrings. So really, to draw a shamrock, you just just kind of think of three, three hearts, uh, on different ways, you know, and that'll work. And now I'm going to just indicate the hair a little bit like that. And then I go up and draw the hat. Her hat is a little bit more fancy, more stylish, <laughs> more modern, I suppose. <laughs> Have to keep up with the times. And of course, there's fantastic musicians in Ireland. Um, everything from classical to traditional and uh, people who play country and western whatever there's so many so many talented people out there and of course normally uh, during St. Patrick's Day they'll all get together for a session 
and uh, marvelous music can be heard in all the villages and towns and in the cities. And of course, a lot of the great music from Ireland and Scotland and Wales and uh, traveled over to America when the immigrants went to America in the 19th century and that, and brought, brought their music as well. So, so all the great uh, music in, in America too uh, has connections, not only with the great uh, continent of Africa, but also uh, Europe, uh, especially Ireland, uh, and Britain. So there you are. This music is a universal language, and it travels everywhere, which is lovely. Now that's that's our drawing, very quickly, and now I'm checking time. So I'm just going to put a very quick bit of colour on it, and uh, I'll start with the green. <laughs> Ireland's must have 40 shades of green, they certainly do, uh, because if you look at the countryside different times of the year, it's amazing the amount of colour, uh, different shades of green. And so there's, there's funny uh, folk songs about leprechauns as well and the fairies. And, and places like, you know, County Sligo, where William Butley H is buried, this, they have a great tradition of, of uh, folklore and uh, all the wonderful things. So it's a kind of a magical kingdom, a bit like Kerry from that point of view. Anyway. using a few crayons to do it quickly here as you've seen me doing the using the crayons before so tiny bit of water uh, just to show you these crayons again you can put water on it. Mm -hmm. It can be quite effective, as you can see, when you want to do something very fast. So there you are, just giving you a quick idea how to draw the leprechauns. You can add as many as you like. And I'll put back up the original one. So in order to achieve this, it takes a little bit longer, but I just wanted to give you the flavor of uh, making a drawing like that. Maybe you could do it for your bedroom or whatever. So listen, have a great St. Patrick's Day and an old Irish expression. May you be in heaven a half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. <laughs> Take care. Until the next time. Bye-bye.